All right, the Wraith 32 BL Heli 32 ESCs, available on Amazon, distributed by LHI, is what we are talking about today. So let's just get right into it. As far as packaging, you just get a simple box, the one I have here. Each ESC is individually wrapped in its own electrostatic bag. The contact points are not pre-tinned. They're just bare copper, and there are no wires attached as well. So all you get is the bare ESC PDB. And that is it. Now, as far as quality, I had no observable issues. All the ESCs worked upon arrival. There is no bad solder joints that I could see and no extreme amounts of flux on the board or anything that I can see. And then when I did try to change the settings with the BL Heli Suite, the license verified, the serial number verified just fine because that's something that's new in BL Heli 32 is it actually checks your serial number upon connection to see if it's a valid or a clone or anything else and these pass just fine. Now, from here on out, let me give you a warning. I'm trying to concentrate on the ESCs with this review, but it's hard to concentrate on the ESCs when we're talking about BL Heli 32, because that's new, and a lot of the features that are new in that are a part of the ESC. They just go together. That's what the ESC runs. So from here on out, I'm gonna concentrate on the ESC, but I'm sure we're gonna share some points about BL Heli 32 in general. Now some key features about this ESC is that it is 35 amps continual load with a 45 amp capable burst and current protection on top of that. Not only do you get current protection, but you get low RPM, low voltage, and temperature protection as well. So these are going to be very hard to burn out. They're slightly larger than the Little B and the Maker Fire B Heli S ESCs that I have, but they are still plenty fine. They fit on my quadcopter arms perfectly fine. As far as weight, I weighed them at four grams each. They support up to six S LiPos and they have a RGB LED on them as well. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Along with all that, you get your normal slew of BL Heli features, motor direction changing, active braking, bi-directional 3D flight capable. Well, these are, not all ESCs are bi-directional capable, but these are, B Heli supports it, so on and so forth. Now, as far as the setup, I have my Space One 220X frame. I have these Racer Star Racing Edition 2205 2300 kV motors I'm also reviewing. A SP Racing F3 flight controller running Beta Flight 3.2, which is currently a beta version. And the reason why we're doing that, I'll explain in a moment. And then as far as batteries, I use different uh, 3S and 4S batteries just to get a wide range of conditions going there. So let's get on to the results. Do I like them? Yes, I actually like these quite a bit. They have a very smooth power band and they're very responsive. It, you know, input lag is almost non-existent these days once you get into D-Shot 600 and 1200. Um, there's plenty of power to go around, especially for a quad this size. So I'm sure you can even use on larger quads without problem. And then even if you were underrated for your quad, you got current protection. That's ingenious. You know how many ESCs I burned out putting the wrong damn props on the wrong damn quads? That's why I got Tribe Blade Bullnose on here. I wanted to actually put a good load on here. So the LED lights, at first I did not know if I would like them. Turns out I do. Now I did cut out the little squares for them and stuff so I could actually see them and then I made them blue to match the motors. But yeah, I, I did like them. Um, just a note, these lights are not on by default. You get a flash of white when you plug in the battery and then they shut off. That's not an issue. To actually turn them on, you need to go into the settings. You need to set them to what color you want them to be. So if you get these ESCs and the lights are off, don't stress. Now, in result, they're gonna stay on this quad and this quad is my daily practice quad that I use twice a day pretty much. Every morning, every evening, I go out and fly and I fly this thing around practice. So yeah. I'm going to keep these ESCs on there. This was a good purchase. A couple suggestions just for those who are thinking about purchasing this is A, don't be afraid to get these ESCs. With the protections that are built in and the quality that I saw in this set, I don't think you'll have any problems with them. The quality and the performance are both great. That being said, if you buy these ESCs, you are in the early adoption segment of BL Heli 32. 
These ESCs were just released in May, and this is like the first batch of BL Heli 32 ESCs. So there's a lot of features that are, you know, we haven't even seen yet that BL Heli 32 might be capable of. So, you know, right now it's early adopter stage. To actually change settings in these ESCs, you need to have be a, uh, Beta Flight 3.2 Plus on there, which 3.2 is the current beta version, not the current mainstream release. And so, yeah, there, there's little tricks to it. I don't know if you could solo flasher or use a flasher. I just do pass through because it's easy. So yeah, I normally actually like to run clean flight. That way I don't get any extra features that are part of beta flight that throw me off a bit. And so for this, I had to switch to beta flight and I had to go to the beta version of beta flight. You know, when you want the bleeding edge, bleeding edge code, just be able to try these out. And overall, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy I made this purchase. I don't give many things five stars, but I will give these five stars. Awesome. <laughs>